paging part five just to backtrack a little bit and clear this up because it is kind of weird looking this is we're specifying two class names for a single link I say that weird link I think it's my nose link so when it's actually outputted it looks like this equals a links and then the second class name is separated by space link and then followed by whatever x is one so the first page link looks like this the third one looks like that and so on and so forth and the reason we have this if statement right here this is because the first iteration is going to be different it's not going to have the href feature it's not going to do anything when you click it because you're on that page and why would you want to go to somewhere you're already at so let's come back here we gotta add something here because right now in our pages if you click one it's still clickable it doesn't update we need to update it so when you click it let's do this specify links and then also specify the link we're on plus a page the attribute href so what this is doing is the old page am I saying this right the old page that we're leaving, let's say we're on page one, which is inactive, and we click page two. This is going to add the href feature on page one, which previously didn't have it, so that we could click it to go back to it. And so now that we're on page two in our hypothetical situation, we need to disable the href feature. So not only you can tell you're on that page by looking there, but you can't click it because that'd be kind of silly. So copy this and we're going to remove attribute href. Let's save this and I know it's going to work. So now when we click forward, let's see. There you go. So now we can't click four, but we could click one. And so you can see what page you're on, and it's also you know, a function as well. You can't click it. So that's kind of nice, isn't it? Right? So now let's do something else in the next video.